Thank you, Bill. Good morning, everyone. Gosh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Bunch of academics, something's wrong. Uh, it really is a pleasure to host this fourth workshop, but I can't believe it's been two years since the third one. Man, oh man, time flies. So first of all, thanks um, to Val for all the organizing. And I'm really pleased to see a, a number of familiar faces, uh, but also a number of colleagues from minority serving institutions. And I'm really appreciative of the effort put in uh, to provide that emphasis uh, for this year's workshop. Um, as a former professor at University of Maryland, um, I can't overemphasize the importance of the topic here of really providing um, undergraduates with a fulfilling research um, experience as um, an undergrad. Uh, exposure to research, getting hands-on experience early um, in one's career is, is so important. And I know I'm preaching to the choir, um, but so is the, the importance of, mem of mentorship um, and the impact that each of you have on students as an individual. Um, oftentimes, your impact on that student really has a determination um, on their career path, um, whether or not they stay in school, how they pursue a graduate career, um, and, and where they go in the future. Uh, finding the right problem uh, for the student, sort of right-sizing it and, and an appropriate research problem. Uh, but also what it means to be a practicing scientist um, outside um, the classroom. Uh, how the individual will be successful down uh, the path in terms of not just the book work again in the classroom, but defending one's work critical thinking, uh, reading a journal article with a certain degree of skepticism, defending one's work, as I said, writing a proposal, reviewing a proposal, uh, giving presentations. And then also the guidance on career paths and opportunities in that not all students need to look like their major professor um, and pursue uh, a career in academia. Uh, but uh, the emergence of the private sector um, as well as government and NGOs. And going back to uh, the issue of diversity, I've made that a priority here um, at UCAR, trying to lead the way. We all know this is a challenge uh, for all of us, and yet, and I'm sorry I'm going to miss Vernon's talk, uh, but this clearly uh, in the geosciences, we have great opportunities uh, to boost up um, the diversity of our, of our field, our talent base, in terms of what we have to offer, beginning at the undergraduate experience, in terms of hands-out opportunities, what with field programs, instrumentation, observations, the, co the, the cover here is a perfect example, uh, getting one's hands dirty with models. These should be exciting and attractive uh, for a, a broad swath of um, basically the student population. Uh, my own experience um, as an undergrad at Florida State, one of my best interactions was with uh, an oceanography professor who did not have a research career. Uh, he didn't bring in much money at all, but he was a great teacher. Um, and it always left an impact on me. And again, those aspects of doing research and being exposed to research uh, outside the classroom. So thanks of, to all of you for coming from, uh, again, across the country. Also thanks to the Geo Directorates uh, for their investment in these series of workshops and the fact that this is across the divisions. Um, and I think that's where the future of the geosciences is. I think that's also should be something that's very attractive um, at the undergraduate level is our future as disciplines is at the interface uh, and breaking down the traditional discipline silos um, and looking at the earth as a coupled system and that is what uh, at the heart of the geo directorate. So I hope those of you 
that are from specific disciplines get to mix it up uh, over the next a couple um, of days. So again, my, my thanks to you. I, I am so appreciative of what you do because you are on the front lines. And as I said at the beginning, um, you know, that first interaction um, with students and when they get on campus, they're sort of, you know, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and they don't exactly know what to do. Uh, that first interaction with all of you and finding that research project uh, to them really can have an impact on the student for the rest of, of their career and lifetime. And that's why it's so important. So again, my thanks to all of you. Have a great couple of days. Thanks.